Hey guys, my name is Corey. Thanks for watching Fork and Fly. Don't just see the city, taste it. Stay tuned if you want to see how to make this crab cake and shrimp top salmon. For the butter, make sure you want three tablespoons of butter, room temperature. Some minced garlic. Obey garlic and herbs. You want to add some of that. Also, some regular obey. Some garlic powder. Onion powder. A dash of salt. Parsley flakes. Black pepper. Mix that good together. And this smells good as it is, but of course you don't eat butter like that. Set your oven to 375, then take your pan and you want to spray it with some non-cooking spray. I bought some salmon from my local market. Just place them on there nicely. And what I like to do is add some lime juice to the mix. Just sprinkle some. And then I also like to add some Obey to the salmon itself. Now you want to take your butter mixture. This is good like it is to so just, you know, put it in the oven like this. But we're gonna make it even better. Some lump crab meat that I got from my local store. To this, you wanna add the remainder of the butter mixture. I did cut up some shrimp. This is real shrimp and also real crab meat. Add um, some shrimp to the mixture. Now I did leave out some room temperature cream cheese to mix. I also have some onions, green peppers, and red peppers. Now chop them. Take a fork so this way you can break up the crab meat and also the cream cheese. And you want to mix that good together. To this also add some pepper, black pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, and some parsley. I like to take off the top because sprinkle it through this hole, it'll take forever. But just be careful. If you like some of your things spicy, add a little bit of hot sauce. Now just add your crab and shrimp mixture on top of your salmon.
So what I did here is I added on top of both, and since I had more than enough mixture, I don't want to go to waste because I'm probably not gonna make this again for another week or so, or whatever. So what I did, I added the remaining mixture to the middle. Straight out the oven. Now this is a big piece, so I'm gonna just, not even half. I might just cut it in quarters, or I will cut it in half, actually. But I did put it in the oven for about 20 minutes, and then put it under the broil for about three to five minutes. Depending on how thick your um, salmon is. Now hopefully I can pick this up in one good piece. Excellent. Look at this. Look at the thickness of this. Let's try to zoom in a little more. Look at how thick that is. Look at the layer of the crab meat. And then you got the salmon. Look. What? Mm. So let's see how this is. So delicious. Find the recipe on my website, forkandfly.com. I taste that, get that kick of the hot sauce. Mm -hmm. Leave a comment and thumbs up this video if you want to see more cooking videos. You can pair this with a salad, some greens like asparagus, broccoli, anything. Potatoes. Like, comment, and subscribe.